I'll tell you something interesting that is happening here, a little bit of drama. <laughs> um, you know me, I, I walk alone, I go to the places, wherever I go, I go alone and I mind my own business. So lately, lately, there has been this, this chap who, um, he's young, you can make out he's young. I'll not describe him much, because I don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> but he's young, okay, he's young, he's big, muscled guy, has ink, okay, tattoos and all that. And he has this really beautiful, hot girlfriend. Pretty hot, okay. Uh, and uh, she makes, makes sure that everyone who sees her knows she's hot. So, very revealing clothes, uh, shows her assets properly wherever she goes. And she makes sure that she wears the skimpiest clothes possible. Now, one thing which both these youngsters, they must be in their 20s. One thing that both of them tend to do is they will smooch and kiss and hug and touch and press and this and that. She'll either, you know, fondle his sausage or like not like taking it out, like just touch it. Like you can make out. He, she, he is standing here, she is standing here. And as they're kissing, she'll nicely touch him down there. And uh, it's like, and when he's kissing her, he'll squeeze her ass and uh, okay, whatever. So what is my problem now, you'll think. All right, so I was just minding my own business, doing my own shit, my own world. I didn't think twice about this guy. But yes, I did notice whenever they are showing public display of affection, smooching, kissing, hugging, pressing, whatever. Obviously, you'll see, you'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? And Okay, good show. People get to see. Or when his girl is walking with the skimpiest clothes and... Uh, well, obviously, I'm a guy. I'll see, I'll be like, hmm. Okay, interesting. Especially when you're passing by and she bends over to <laughs> pick up something. I don't know if she's doing it purposely or whatever. Nice view. Okay. But... Uh, I don't know, all of a sudden this guy is like, uh, I'm doing my own thing. And he started to give me the stare, you know, like, like he's looking at me like as if he wants to bloody kill me. I'm like, eh, what? <laughs> like that day, uh, I'll not tell you where. And you, you, I know, you must be thinking, hey man, what if he watches your video and all? He doesn't watch my videos, I don't think he'll watch my video. Because I have too many videos and even if he does, how does he know I'm talking about him? And I don't think... That's as far as I know. I don't think he is, uh, you know, fluent in English, thankfully. Okay. I don't know. I'm just assuming. Okay. He doesn't know my name. I don't know his name. Okay. So, this is me crossing my fingers. That's why I'm not going too much into detail. So, I, I went to this place. I'll not tell you again specifically where. I was doing my shopping. I was just checking out things and... Selecting, okay, do I need to buy this, buy this, buy this, okay. All of a sudden, lo and behold, him and his little one were there. Not little one, his girl. Uh, I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I was going the other side. And uh, this guy, is, I'm walking, and he's walking like, like this, huh? Like, and I'm, I'm, I'm standing there, I'm looking at him. And I, I just see him. And, I'm like looking at him like this and I'm like wondering like what the fuck is you know like you know sometimes you have these prank videos right okay. I was just looking at I was not afraid or anything because there are security cameras everywhere so I was looking and you know good thing he didn't push or bump he just walked I could feel him walk past and I was like thinking like what okay and, uh, you know, whenever possible, him with this girl, he keeps looking at me. Like as if he's protecting a cub or a young one. He's looking at me. Like as, you know, with his cheeks and chiseled and... 
I'm like, ah, whatever. I'm not bothered. Okay. And, uh, you know, the final one was when he was sitting in a restaurant with a couple of his females and ladies and all that. And I went to the restaurant to order something. And him and all of them, they were, you can make out, looking at me and laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Looking like that. And I was like, uh, okay, again. I, I knew what they're doing. They're very childish. And they're, they're like looking at me <laughs> and they're going like this and the females are giggling and I did my own thing and went away. And then obviously, you know, he flexing with his bike and they, are, they have a couple of cars and all that. Okay. So now, why am I bringing this up? Is this to verbally attack him or put him down? No, it's not. It's I've not told you his name. I've not given you specific descriptions where you can identify, yeah, that is the guy. I've just given you a vague. But what am I trying to tell you through this video? You know, when we are young, no? all of us, see, he must be in his 20s, him and his girl. When we are in our 20s, no? we feel invincible. We think we are invincible because we are oozing testosterone. We have these muscles, we have this ability to push heavy weights and I'm pretty sure he must be doing very heavy weights in the gym and I'm also sure he takes steroids okay so that rage is there I went through that phase I've done that lifting heavy weights to show you know I'm a big man and you know my dick is bigger than your dick measuring contest kind of thing and um, I guess he looks at me as someone he wants to you know he wants respect he wants me to you know, like acknowledge, like bow down. I'm like in my own world, yeah, I don't care a damn. And maybe because I don't care a damn, he's even more, you know, pissed off. So he's doing his best to irritate. Uh, I don't know if you can say it's working, but yeah, I do notice. But here's the thing. Physically, if we were, for example, not that I am going to get into a fight. Physically, if there was going to be a fight, I'm sure he'll pretty much put me in the hospital. It's pretty big. I don't know any form of fighting, boxing, Muay Thai, nothing. Self-defense, so I don't know. Okay. Only self-defense I know is call the police. Okay. So there, I'm useless. Then, groups or gangs, I don't have any. I'm alone. Okay. Uh, the least I can do is maybe inform the cops and give this guy a warning. And because I have security cameras all over, so he can't come home or do anything. But um, the, the question is, what is the point of all this? Seriously, what is the point of all this and where does, where does it go? Who benefits from this? Will he benefit? Would I benefit? No. It's a loss, loss for both. And I've seen people go to the lawyers and court case or police case simply for nothing waste of time and waste of money waste of energy and in the end what happens yeah you proved you're a man but you wasted your time you wasted your money maybe he has too much of his father's money or maybe he's rich but uh, for normal day-to-day -day folks we have our priorities who wants to get into this nonsense so my point being is when we are young now we don't choose our battles wisely. What is governing us or what is pushing us or what makes us... Our decisions come from not the head, but from the dickhead. And uh, you want to show you're an alpha male, the girl wants to show her titties and her ass and smooch and kiss and this and that. But you'll not see someone in their 40s or 50s do it. Because they realize this is all immature nonsense. This is all childish behavior. You know? Do you see people who are, uh, you know, at the level of being a, say, CEO, director, who have responsibilities, family, do they go around, uh, you know, smooching, uh, kissing, uh, squeezing their wife's butt, or them doing the same? And people behave themselves. They have gone through all this. It's for the ones who have not gone that immaturity want to 
show the world, hey, I'm happy, hey, I'm alpha, hey, I'm important. Because now he's in his 20s, fine. And he's driving like mad. The speed, I've seen him sometimes pass by on the school, on his scooter or bike or car, whatever. He drives like mad. It's all a matter of time before you do the same with somebody else. Okay, I'm quiet, mind my own business. Imagine what if he bumps into someone who is a gangster or someone who is dangerous or violent, or you meet up with an accident. Not worth it, man. Overall, the only message that I want to leave you with is, see, if you're young, no? don't let your testosterone and your, your balls and your dick, you know, your bravado guide you. Speak to someone who's mature, because if let's say I had someone who's as young as that as my client, I would, I would tell them, why are you doing this? For what? You want to really show me you're a man? Make a career, have a personal brand, make money, show savings. Or if you still have that much energy, go to a boxing club, karate club, Muay Thai club. Slug it out with these guys so you can get rid of that beast, that itch to fight. So when you fight someone who's better than you and you get humbled, then you realize, man, I'm not that alpha. But remember, if you don't control this tendency, one fine day you'll end up like what happened if you... It, this happens very frequently here uh, in Thailand, especially these islands. This, I think he was a French guy, something very rich, very, very rich, driving a Porsche. Uh, there was this Thai man with his wife and kid on a small scooter behind him. So this came in the newspaper and uh, they, they here only, huh? where I live, at a junction, I don't know, maybe he honked or maybe he flashed his light. The guy stopped his car in the middle of the road. Him and his friend got out. Super expensive luxury car. And this, I don't know, Thai guy also got out of his scooter. And uh, I don't know whether he was hitting the brakes and threatening him or they had some tension who will overtake each other or something like that. So he went up to him and this guy, you know, the French guy, you could make out he was well versed in boxing and kickboxing or whatever. And the Thai guy, you know, tried to defend and this guy gave him a sock on his forehead. And before you know it, he collapsed, he fell down and he ended up in a coma. French guy took his car and zoomed off. But because there was CCTV footage, he got caught him and his friend. And uh, I think he was going to be jailed for a couple of, you know, indefinitely or years or whatever. He had to pay a massive fine, huge fine. And they canceled his visa and they asked him to get out of here. Maybe he's rich, maybe he's loaded. But uh, was it worth it? And he spent, I think, a couple of days in prison. And here the prisons are not... Uh, resorts. But you could clearly make out after a week or something. Uh, he was sorry about it and ashamed. And What's the use? Tell me. So, all I want to leave you with is, you know, just make sure that you're, uh, you know, don't use testosterone and your madness to make your decisions. Sometimes, being cool, calm, composed is better. And if you're still not sure, consult someone who's mature than you, elder than you. Let them guide you. And the problem will be solved. Anyway, this is what I wanted to leave you with. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. You agree, disagree. And uh, yeah, you guys take care. Me signing off. Right? Shall. See you.